I mean, that's, that's, I think sadly that's the entertainment industry that is movies. And, and for yeah. a long time that was music and that's, that's how that industry was run. And that's, you know, that's the thing that, you know, maybe at some point the marketing team wins that fight and maybe they're talking to people that are very clearly not journalists and very clearly running YouTube channels and, and all this other stuff. And, you know, they're, you know, the reason why the federal trade commission came up with those rules regarding saying payola. when you got a free product, yeah, yeah the, the, the kind of payola laws and stuff. Which started coming actually like Nintendo was one of the first yeah. companies to start including Square. that with some of our games. But that's, so we are exempt from that. We actually looked into it because we are a professional publication. The expectation is that we are actually receiving these products right. for review. This is part of how it works. It's part of how it works. I mean, this is for the, the mommy bloggers. Yeah, this bleeding, is for the... Literally bleeding into like baby products right. and stuff like yeah. that. Where they're just like, they're sending products to, you know, people that started these blogs and had no intention of ever becoming anything close to a journalist, but they gained a following. They gained a, tr a, a following that trusts them. And then naturally the next step is that, you know, corporate America moves in to try and fucking subvert it in their own awesome way. Um, and that I think is happening in games and marketing departments, I think are, are the, the, the crews and you know, community teams to some extent driving that sort of thing. Yeah. And I, I would, you know, you would hope and it's, you know, it, it bums me out if it's not true that, you know, you know, there are times where like you get, drinks around a dinner where there are PR people. And a lot of times there's also people that work on the games that are there too, that I have hope we have earned the trust that like, if, if what people think is that like, that's going to somehow influence my coverage or goose up a score yeah. like that, I guess that's on me that I haven't earned that level of trust because some of those situations just come up as in the nature of chasing after the kinds of stories I want to do mm -hmm. as a result of those people being gatekeepers and just the way that games coverage works. But, I think, I yeah. think, I think it's really sad. Uh, it's not that sad, but I, I take offense when it, I, I feel like people can't trust two professional adults to have uh, a relationship and also have a professional relationship with people. When people are like, you know, somebody who writes about games should not be able to talk to a PR person outside of work or hang out with them like that. They cannot do their job professionally as adults and also be able to have an actual relationship uh, makes me feel like that. That is a really immature argument. Like you can, there are people who can divide that into two spheres, and that has happened in the press for since there has been press. If you look at any White House press conference, those two parties know each other. They probably shake hands. The president and the reporters shake hands. They know the people in the front row. It doesn't mean that that uh, that guy in the front row seat is not going to write a scathing article to the president. Right. It doesn't mean that later on those guys can't have a drink together. Uh, there are relationships that are built in an industry when you work closely with anybody we used to we used to do exactly that at GameSpot, which was like people that wrote reviews were basically not let out of the building you know like never allowed to talk to yeah, people that I, make I games or pitch it, games you know, or any it, of that it stuff. wasn't until we started doing on the spot that i started talking to people that were making right, games right but now that we've moved past that to the site where we kind of had to do both right for the last four years the process of actually reviewing the games hasn't changed one iota. Yeah. Like, it's still, at the end of the day... I, I've, I've gained a deeper understanding about how games are made, yeah. but at the end of the day, that doesn't matter like, in the review context. You're sitting in your dark living room at 2 in the morning going, fuck, I need to finish this game, and, like, right. it's all about, like, I mean, all you can think about is what, like, the buck stops with the quality of the game. Basically. I mean, look, we did yeah. that Medal of Honor live stream we did when the game came out, like, a fucking pizza showed up yeah. from EA. Right. And then we like, proceeded to spend, like, two hours... Literally pretty much as, trashing that game, and then Brad writes a pretty scathing review of it. Literally, as we were doing mic checks for that live stream, Madison came over mm -hmm. with pizza, and she was like, pizza just showed up for you guys, and we were like, what the fuck? Yeah. No, I actually but, think we said, yeah, bring it over. But, oh, but, uh, but we figured it was a, like a, I mean, like, stuff was up with it could have been like, a user, could have been, a, like, you know. Yeah. We, had to, we had to work backwards a little bit to figure out that it had come from EA, because yeah. it didn't say EA on it, but no. then once we had established its origin, get it, uh... <laughs> It was like put it on the stream. Like let's, let's grease up these patch notes a little bit. You know, oh, it's I get like, it. Let's origins. Yes, right. Let's let's acknowledge where this pizza came from, and yeah. then yeah, have a little fun with it. But come on, let's talk about the game. Yeah, and then you know, and the it, game and was not good. It seems like developers, publishers, PR. Uh, I don't deal too much with marketing, but uh, people in the press. If you're honest and you're fair and you're good at your job. You get over the bumps of like, yeah, we we had a friendship. You give me a bad score, whatever. Maybe I'm mad for a week, but we're gonna do yeah. this rodeo again. We're gonna come back around. I don't take it person. I maybe I take it personally for a day. But you're doing your job. I'm doing my job. I, I've definitely had it go both ways. 
yeah. you know, with and, with people where you know, like I, I feel like I've I've done my job, and then people that I had known for years and thought like we were kind of past this. You understand what my job is, right? And and there's this mutual level of respect, right? And then all of a sudden the phone call is like, I can't believe you gave that score, man. I just feel like personally offended. So well. All right, I guess we're just not going to talk anymore. But I feel like if that's the case, then and fine. You know, that's, yeah, there yeah, was a that's, problem yeah. there. Yeah, there was great. a misunderstanding. Yeah, uh, that's if if you thought that that right. you were getting something over on every, you know, like you were going to get a favor out of this. Right. A fuck you, mm. and B no. Yeah. Right. Then I feel like there was a miscommunication at some point where somebody that relationship was broken somewhere. Somebody thought something. The expectations else, yeah. game. Yeah, was wrong. Right. Yeah. Uh, but most of the people that I feel like you see on the site and, and the people that keep coming back, even though a- agnostic of the score, are people that understand they have a job to do, we have a job to do, and that... Uh, like the goals don't necessarily align w- at all times. And and after hours, you know, people still are people, you know? And, like, you can go to somebody's christening or a wedding or whatever, and then when you get back in this office and get back in that office, you fight your war, you know, shoot at each yeah. other from across the trenches... And then sh- you can shake hands afterward. I think that that whole separation. It's the, it's the it, wolf it, sheepdog cartoons from the Warner Brothers. Totally. <laughs> Clock in. That's that's the reality. Uh, yeah, that part where, like, you're a PR guy all the time, and you're a game writer all the time, and I, I saw you guys in a bar having a drink and laughing. Yeah, this industry is funny. And, like, <laughs> after hours, it yeah. gets even Every, funnier. Everyone kind of laughs about how fucking yeah. stupid there are a yeah. lot of different things in this business are. You could be at the PR event, and you and the PR guy could be laughing about the dumb ice sculpture they have or the dancers that are there and be like, yeah, this is dumb. Yeah. Do, do you want to see the game? Hey, good yeah. use of your money. Yeah. Show me the fucking game <laughs> right. so I can leave. Uh, so, yeah. That, no, abs- yeah, absolutely. I mean, fuck. Uh, PR for Telltale Games. The dude lives in Petaluma, moved up there recently. And I've had him over for dinner a couple of times. And, you know, my fiance and, and his get along, which is, a, is a, a nice bonus, but that has zero impact. You know, you know what? You know what? Jurassic Park is still a shitty game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jurassic Park is still a shitty game. And they desperately needed The Walking Dead to do what The Walking Dead is doing. Yeah. Because they were fucking running out of rope. Yep. Um, but, you know, that, that stuff has no bearing. That is... And and that's, that's all we can really say. Yeah. You know? It's, uh, you know... <laughs> We're not going to wring our hands and and try to sit there and convince people like no really everything's fine everything's fine there's sure. nothing you know th- there's no defense against that you know you 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 lose both ways either you have people saying like well you don't know you're being influenced well fuck you're right <laughs> which you know we would be the you know what hundred percent right we yeah. would we would be the last people to know that's how that works right I guess so shit so I'm endlessly pissed <laughs> off about the lack of a dance central review on this site yeah. Um, because the the yeah Dance Central three because the you know that's I took I took that on I was like I'm gonna review this fucking game, um because you know we we we've had them on numerous times for preview stuff and all this stuff and I feel like you know good or bad like that's we should weigh in at the end with the review yeah yeah and and we have not been able to do that because the it was broken the first time I played it fucking broken was it the game was it the connect. I don't know, but the second time I played it at night when my skylight was not shining sunlight in there and I'd cleaned a layer of dust off the connect lens, I had a much better time with it, but I was also with a bunch of people and we were all wasted. So I feel like I have not played enough of it one way or the other. And and now, you know, we're in the middle of kind of bigger fish to fry. Like there's, there's tons of other games coming out. out like a day and a half. Yeah, exactly. It was just right? like, I have to give this one more shot. And if it, if I can't review it right now, then it's going to take a backseat to all this other stuff. It's been fucking killing me ever since. I'm so fucking pissed off at myself over it. Um, because I, you know, it's like that's that's the that's the bargain we make with the users. It helps us close the loop. Exactly. On when, and when we yeah. do have yeah. these people in, where you know, like if, you, if, if, you, if you aren't of- familiar with the site, or if you're just getting used to the site, you could see why they might view that as impropriety. Right. I mean, and people, yeah. People. So, do- so, so the people that know us trust us that. You know, there's plenty of people that are gonna be like, okay, we get why it's you know Slater going to this review and blah 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 that things happen. Yeah. There's no, it's not just like we're burying it, but especially for people that are just gonna use yeah, the but, site, but I don't, I don't blame. And, and, yeah. and for the, for the, you know, and there has been recent criticism of that, and right. I look at it and go, fucking yeah, I knew this was gonna happen, and it fucking should, right. and I'm fucking pissed. But like that's that's a case of I think where we create that uh, bargain of trust with the user that that's a, a situation where they should be like that's okay, that's on us. 
Yeah. Like that's a that's a reason to be critical. Like the the swag stuff and all that stuff. Like you know that's hard to take too seriously. But like that's an insti- in- instance where we introduced a loop and didn't close it. Yeah. So, so that's 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 that certainly. So my end goal right now is, you know, like I've, I've got a couple of reviews over the next couple of weeks here that are large uh, that I have to get written. And I think once that's done and we get a little bit of breathing room, like it's, you know, whatever. These reviews aren't going to do huge traffic and I don't give a shit, but I fucked up and did not get Dance Central 3 done. I have half of a new Super Mario Brothers 2 review written somewhere. <laughs> And I also really like Dead or Alive 5 and did not get that review written. And it's, you know, whatever. It's Ultimately, it's my fault. Like, I should have fucking managed my time better. Like, coming over here and doing all this CBS stuff has resulted in way more fucking meetings than I thought. And the, the, the meetings come and go. Like, it's just like, you got to be in fucking four meetings this week. Like, great. All right. I'm All right. Who's the new guy this time? <laughs> um and yeah, you know, I, I should have managed my time better and, and all that sort of stuff. So I want to get those reviews done just to, for no other reason than to close that fucking loop on those games um, that I played to completion and then could not get the text done for. Or actually, Dance Central is, is another case. I will have to spend time with that game. And you know what? Maybe I'll like it. Maybe I won't. I don't know. I, I know I don't like New Super Mario Bros. 2. I know I do like Dead or Alive 5. Um, so you get New Super Mario Bros. 2 just, you know, in time for New Super Mario Bros. You <sighs> joint review. I hope that game that game had better be better. <laughs> I was gonna say uh, the impre- I, I the hope Im- that doesn't. Qualify. The impressions so far are that it is a much better game. Thank God. So Jesus. We'll, we'll find out soon. All right. I feel like we have talked that one to death. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, bottom line is that we're all a bunch of dudes who fucking love video games, and I don't know about the rest of you guys, but I can't be excited about something that I'm not excited about. Yeah. So that's and, and really you know all what? there is to it. I, I'm at a point where. I love covering video games. Yeah. And the only way that I get to keep doing that is if I do it right. Uh, and, you know, it's the stuff that's floating around out there. There are some people out there that I don't think are doing it right. And they're they're kind of paying the price for it in one way or another. I, I think I think some people have to ask, did they betray your trust or, or are you, did you yeah. ever... Tr- what, what? Right. Are you, are you prescribing... Yeah. In, in, you know, journalistic notions onto yeah. them that they themselves would never. Right. And also, are you look are you looking to fill in the gaps on this conspiracy theory yeah, that comes yeah, up there's, every? There, there's being like, right every yeah, six yeah, months. Right. There's being rightly concerned about appearances, and there's being Joseph McCarthy. Right. Like, like yeah. seeing impropriety when you have a narrative that you want to complete. You know. Yeah. And make, not, make sure you're on the right side of that. And and you're right. Like, not that you should not. That you shouldn't be looking out for it because the stuff pops up every now and yeah, then. Yeah, that if, is if, real. You're, if you're out there and you really care about this stuff, yeah. you want to know that the people yeah. that you are right. turning to for this information are on the fucking level. But but don't do a baby in the bathwater thing and don't look at. I think, you know, if I go and write a movie review on Facebook, does not mean I am a movie reviewer. You know, like I, you need to at least have some vetting process for the people you think are betraying your trust and and move on from there. Like I, I don't think you can look at anybody who. You know, self-described as uh, a journalist in the industry or whatever. And look, I think you know, even even as we go further, you're going to have to make even further distinctions. Like, look at Keeley. You know, look at what he's doing. Uh, he's also done really good fucking journalism. Right. Go but, back and look at the, the final hours of Fast Life Two. Like that guy has yeah. done yeah. really exceptional work. Yeah. You know, but the stuff he, he's doing with Mountain Dew. Yeah, it looks kind of skeezy. Like, yeah, it does. But yeah, the guy's also a- done. That's also he almost represents this weird dichotomy of an entertainer right. that is also using his. He also couldn't do those final hours things, especially the ones he's doing now with like Portal Two and Mass Effect. Right? There's no one else that can do that but him. Yeah. So, so I, yeah. look at what he's doing. But he also, I, I, you know, unless he's doing it somewhere where I don't notice, I don't think he's out there reviewing video games. No. Right. So like, you know, t- you're gonna have to take people who are doing so stuff- game slice. As uh, oh, okay. right. as entertainment uh, and as a you know especially on TV like that stuff is just going to get weirder and weirder yeah. as games move on to TV people have to fill programming time and advertising slots and like the you know Spike TV awards and all that stuff but it's, it's going to be weird it's such an easy way to dismiss if there's critical voices that you don't agree with or you don't like uh, it's it's so easy to just wave the hand and go oh well they're all on the fucking take anyway. You know, like I, I see the appeal of prescribing to that of 
Like, and everyone's on the 